Hey guys, today I want to do a quick review of your C120L mouse. This is a small old keyboard that's designed for a variety of different platforms. You can use this for your Android device, you can use this on uh, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I've been using this for the past two weeks or so. Uh, mostly it's been on my Android TV, and also I've been using it on the computer just a little bit to test it out, see how well it works. So it came in a little box like this. Uh, you have some detail here and some specification. Use it on smart TV, PC, Android box mouse, tablet, gamepad, keyboard. Uh, beside the unit cell here you also get a small little user menu and a micro USB charging cable which is very standard. Here you can see it's the small little dongle, very standard generic dongle, very small here. So this dongle is designed to work with this guy only and here is the unit itself as you can see. So it's a small little unit, there's my hand, I kind of give you an idea and it fit very comfortable in your hand, you got this nice little curve on it. So they say this is a query keyboard, you can say that this is almost a query keyboard, let me explain here. So as you can see here, you have your button, number button up top here, row, you also have a function key for F1 to F10, which you can hold out this button here. So you're missing F11, F12, not used much in other platform, but maybe Windows is more useful. Over here you have your tab, shift and control, and then you have your query control here, and then you have the shift to get to this uh, simple key, and check this out, IK, 0, P, where is it? down here. This is really strange. Uh, it does take me a few seconds to get used to it, but when I'm used to it, it's not too bad. Especially when I'm doing search on YouTube or Netflix, something like that. This is uh, pretty handy and, uh, and it's very responsive. I'm going to press the key here for you to feel. As you can see, on my Android box, which is a fast uh, quad-core Android box, it works pretty well. One in a while, I feel like I click and it didn't register, uh, but that seemed to be the problem of the box sometime. And when I use it on the on the computer, I didn't have that problem at all. It was extremely accurate. So what makes these guys pretty awesome is when you flip them over, he become a lower L mouse, and this has a three-axis gyroscope inside. So uh, that's basically designed so that you can just basically hover it around on the screen and you can move your mouse cursor. And in practice, it works pretty well. Uh, on your TV, if you plug this in, let's say your TV had the USB port on the side when you plug this in, it might not be exactly, you know, when you're in center, it might not be center, and you can actually reset and calibrate it back. So what you want to do is, uh, let's say if your TV was over here, uh, this is the SUTV, that's where you plug in your stick, you will plug into there. All you have to do is hold down the home button and the menu button here for 3 seconds. This slide will blink, and then all you have to do is let this divide down, you want it right in front of this uh, little receiver. Give it maybe like 20 seconds or so, it'll resync, and after that, it's going to be dead accurate in the center again. Uh, they say that this has an anti shake, so which means if you are not, you know, you're moving just a little bit around, it will, it will kind of figure out that you're not really moving it. But uh, in practice, it doesn't work that well. Uh, when I'm moving this around, it works pretty good, but as soon as you press it, you might accidentally lose the cursor. And so far, none of the L mouse has solved this problem. I have seen that one that worked real well, so most of them, will, when you click on it, it move around. Some of them are really bad, but this one uh, is on the good side. So if you try to click something you miss it, you can always turn the mouse off here, and then you can click on it if you want to. So you can move around, turn the mouse off, click it if you need to. But in general, with Android device, the buttons are big enough that you can do that without any without issues. So um, the other really cool thing about this guy is that uh, even though you have this mouse, you can turn it off. You can actually just leave it on, use it like you were moving around. Let's say you're on YouTube, you go to the search bar, you click on it, and then you want to search. Now that you know it pop up, all you gotta do is just flip this guy over, and you hear there's a small noise. I'm not sure. It's that's the gravity sensor or not, but you turn it over, they say this gravity sensor, and basically when you turn it over, it disables the air mouse, and then you can start using this thing like normally, and it's not going to work again until you flip it back, which work really well in practice. A lot of other air mouse, uh, you basically have, it's on the same side, sometimes you don't have anything on the other side, and when you uh, want to type, you have to turn the mouse off. In this case, you just have to flip it over, and the mouse is disabled. It also works in Windows, and it works fine just like that. Uh, battery wise, uh, I haven't exhausted yet. I used it for like two weeks on and off and it's still working pretty well. So uh, like I said, the uh, battery is working pretty good for such a long time. It's still working uh, and I have no problem with it so far. So I think the battery in this guy is going to be pretty good. If you use it probably continuously all the time, probably going to run out in two weeks. But uh, so far in my experience, it's been working fine. Uh, I did not test this on Mac or, or Linux, so I cannot tell you how well that worked though. But uh, I imagine it will be similar to Windows as a result. The other thing is that this thing is rated for 10 meter as far as uh, operating range. Uh, I can tell you that in my living room is I'm roughly about 15 feet away from my TV, and uh, I can use this perfectly fine. There's no interference, um, so that that works pretty well. I tried to back all the way back in the back end of my kitchen, and uh, that was kind of like the edge of it. At that point, it still works, but you know it, it's kind of jitter. So uh, I think. 
10 15 feet is your good range and that's usually how far you want to use these anyway another thing that i feel like is missing from this remote control is the android functionality on android you usually have the home button the return which uh, you have over here you have the return and uh, you have like the main context menu but you don't have the home button there's no media control so that's uh, a little bit disappointing i wish that they were here also for that so some of the functionalities are usable so but uh, not everything is here for an android device and if you want to use this for Android full time uh, and you use those media key a lot, um, this is something to consider. So yeah, overall it's a pretty nice little device. I think it just missed uh, one thing and that is uh, having a funky key layout. And uh, overall it uh, works pretty well for this kind of device. And by the way, you don't have, there's no on-off button. You basically just leave it down and it will go to standby if you don't use it for 30 seconds or so. So I hope your short little review helped you in your budget decision. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.